Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we will be solving the West African Senior School Certificate Examination 2024 Physics Practical on Electricity. I will take you step by step through setting up the apparatus, taking accurate measurements, analyzing the data, plotting the graph, and finding the slope. Let's dive in. You are provided with a resistance box. The resistance box provides a range of resistances to control the flow of current in the circuit. This dial can be used to vary the resistance precisely. Voltmeter for measuring potential difference or voltage between two points in a circuit. The voltmeter is always connected in parallel to the component under measurement. We also have the key for opening and closing the circuit. And a battery for supplying electrical energy to the circuit. This is the positive terminal of the cell and this is the negative terminal. This is a cell holder. We put the cell in the cell holder such that the positive terminal goes to the positive terminal of the cell and negative to negative. And we fix the next cell, positive to positive, negative to negative. And we join the positive terminal of one cell holder to the negative terminal of the other cell holder to form a battery of two cells in series. We also have connecting wires for providing a path for current to flow between components. Connect the circuit as shown above. So we are going to use this diagram to connect the circuit. In the diagram, this is the resistance box and this is the key. This is the battery where we have the positive terminal of the battery here and the negative terminal of the battery here. And this is the voltmeter. So we are going to connect them with wires as shown in this diagram. So we start from the negative terminal of the battery to the key. I will move from the key to the resistance box. And from the resistance box, we move to the positive terminal of the battery. And we connect the voltmeter in parallel as shown in this diagram. So the positive to the positive terminal of the voltmeter and from the negative terminal to the negative terminal of the voltmeter. And with R set to zero, read and record the voltmeter reading E. So we have E is equal to 3.02 ohm. And with R set to one ohm, close the key and record the voltmeter reading V. So we set R to one ohm. We close the key. And 
record the voltmeter reading V. So we have 2.09 volts. Evaluate Z is equal to V over E minus V. So we have Z is equal to V over E minus V. V is 2.09 volts and E is 3.02 ohm. So we replace them. And 2.09 divided by 3.02 minus 2.09 is 2.25. Z has no unit because the numerator, the unit will be volt and the denominator to have a unit of volt. So they cancel out. So E is 3.02 volts. R in ohm. We have 1 ohm and this is V in volts. We have 2.09 volts and Z which is V divided by E minus V is 2.25 and there is no unit. Now repeat the procedure for 5 other values of R is equal to 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm, 5 ohm and 6 ohm respectively. In each case, record V and evaluate Z. So we set R to 2 ohm and we have 2.27 volts. We set R to 3 ohm and we have 2.41 volts. 4 ohm and we have 2.49 volts. 5 ohm, we have 2.55 volts. And for 6 ohm, we have 2.59 volts. Tabulate the results. We are going to evaluate Z for each of these values. E is equal to 3.02 and is going to remain constant throughout for all these values. So for V is equal to 2.27, we have Z is equal to 2.27 divided by 3.02 minus 2.27 which gives 3.02 for v is equal to 2.4 we have z is equal to 2.41 divided by 3.02 minus 2.41 which is equal to 3.95 when we fix v is equal to 2.49 we have 4.70 and for 2.55 we have 5.43 and for 2.59 we have 6.02 plot a graph with z on the vertical axis and r on the horizontal axis both axis starting from the origin 0 0 So, for the values of R, they are all whole numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. They can be easily plotted. And for the values of Z, they are decimals. The first value, we have 2.25. We can move this point 1, 2 to the right and record 2.25 as 225 times 10 exponent negative 2. Meaning 225 times 10 exponent negative 2 will give you 2.25.
So for the next value 3.02, we move this point 1, 2 and record it as 302. When we multiply by 10 is for the negative 2, it will give us 3.02. The next value we have 395. The next one 470. The next one 543. And then finally we have 602. So we plot these values on the graph. So we draw the vertical and horizontal axis. We are plotting Z on the vertical axis and R on the horizontal axis. We choose a scale. We are going to choose a scale of 2 cm is to 100 times 10 exponent negative 2 on Z axis. So we start from 0, we move to 100, 200, 300, 400 and so on. And on R axis we choose a scale of 2 cm is to 1 ohm. So we start from 0, we move to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. On the vertical axis, one big box is equal to 100. And when we divide 100 by 10, it means each small box is going to be 10. For the first point, we have R is equal to 1 ohm, this is 1 ohm, and Z is 2 to 5. So this is 200. One box is equal to 10, so 210, 20, and the 5 will be in the middle of the next box. We have 2 ohm and 302. This is 300. One box will be 10, so the 2 will be in the next box. We have 3 and 395. This is 3. And this is 300. 395 will be here. 4 and 470. This is 4. And this is 400. One box is 10. 410. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That is seven boxes in addition to 400, which is here. 5 and 5, 4, 3. This is 5, and this is 500. Four boxes will be 540, and the three will be in the next box. We have 6 and 6, 0, 2. This is six, 600, so the 2 will be in the next box. We draw the line of best fit. Determine the slope S of the graph. So let's draw this line to form a triangle with the line of best fit. We name here A, here B, and here C. The slope is change in BC divided by change in AB. For change in BC, we have this is 600, one box is equal to 10, so 630, that is 603 more boxes, minus 200 times 10 is minus negative 2 on the vertical axis and for change in a b we have six minus this is 0 0.6 and the unit on the horizontal axis is o and 630 minus 200 is 430 times 10 is minus negative 2 6 minus 0 0.6 is 5.4 
and 430 times 10 is point negative 2 is 4.3 and 4.3 divided by 5.4 is 0 0.80 the unit ohm is at the denominator and the reciprocal of ohm is per ohm so this is the slope Given that Z is equal to R over K, determine K. So we have Z is equal to R over K. When we cross multiply, we have ZK is equal to R. Since we are looking for K, we divide through by Z. So K is equal to R over Z but we plotted Z against R and we have R over Z. So it means that R over Z is the reciprocal of what we plotted. So the inverse of the slope is the value of R over Z. So K is equal to one over the slope because r on z is the reciprocal of z on r but the slope is 0 0.80 per ohm and 1 divided by 0 0.80 is 1.25 per ohm is at the denominator so when we reciprocate it we find a reciprocal of their own we have own and this is the value of k